Today marks Susan B. Anthony's 203rd birthday, which is also recognized in New York State as Susan B. Anthony Day. Earlier this week, as part of her state budget address in Rochester, Governor Kathy Hochul announced $10 million will go towards the expansion of the Susan B. Anthony House and Museum in our area. Natalie Kuchko spoke with the organization's president today to learn more about those plans. Natalie. Well, Adam, as we've previously reported, a new interactive center is in the works to be built not far from the existing historical sites on Madison Street in Rochester. Susan B. Anthony House and Museum President Deborah Hughes says state funding for this project has been pursued for years. And while it's a welcome surprise now, she says there is still work to be done. This property near Rochester's Jefferson Avenue and Brown Street will be the site of the future interactive center for the Susan B. Anthony House and Museum. It's an estimated near $20 million capital project to further Susan B. Anthony's legacy in Rochester with the goal of attracting tourists from around the world. We've been slowly, steadily building uh, and gaining more experience in taking care of our collection. One of the focuses we've wanted for a long time is to have the right space that can be environmentally controlled to keep those 150 year old items for another 150 years. While operations at the current historical landmark will remain the same, President and CEO Deborah Hughes says the new center will feature self-guided tours and will be able to hold more than 150 visitors per hour. That's approximately five times more than the current capacity of the Susan B. Anthony House. On Monday, Governor Hochul announced $10 million would be set aside for the expansion, contributing roughly half the funds needed. Hughes is hopeful for a groundbreaking this year, but says more support is needed. We won't start the actual building until we've raised all the money. Our, the, the biggest problem is that we haven't been able to accommodate the people who want to come. And so uh, we think that we'll, we'll go from 13,000 visitors a year to 30,000 very easily. Um, and even that already would, would have a 6 to $10 million impact in our local economy. Hughes adds the center will keep an emphasis on telling Anthony's story to those near and far. And we can't tell all of that story in this little house. People just love to be in the space. So the new exhibit is really talking about the way Susan B. Anthony was changing the world, and it's encouraging people to be change makers themselves. While funding from the community remains a top priority, Hughes says the public is welcome to donate to an endowment that has already been established. She also recommends folks look into creating a membership to help support the future of the museum. In studio, Natalie Kuchko, News 8. All right, Natalie, thank you. We'll continue to share updates as the project progresses. In the meantime, for more information right now, visit rochesterfirst.com.